Hey everyone, today, seven ghostly Halloween DIY decor ideas. And by the way, if you're new here, I'm Tanya. And if you're returning, welcome back. And I do hope you all like, share, and subscribe. For our first DIY, I'm gonna take a clock that I had in my laundry room. And this was just an inexpensive clock that I had picked up at Walmart. And I am going to be adding a really cute Halloween flair to this. Now I decided to take this apart and use some of the stickers that I had picked up from Dollar Tree. And they have some really cute little ghost and Halloween stickers there that you can rub on. They're actually the rub on transfers. And I decided just to pop a few of these in here. I wanted to put the boo sign and a few of the little ghosts because the theme today is going to be all about the ghost. And everyone, I've got some really fun DIYs. But once I get those cut out, I'm going to take some of these little wooden ghosts from Dollar Tree. And I decide just to paint these white, of course. And we're going to be placing these around the clock. Now, I did take some of my DIY paint and just put a coat of paint on here because it was really shiny and I wanted it to have more of a matte finish, even though most of it is covered up. But now I'm going to go ahead and rub on these rub-on transfers. And everyone, this is just cute the way it is. And then I decided just to add some squiggly lines with a marker around my numbers. And then I I kind of just did some squigglies around all of the little lines and added a few little drips. But I just thought that added the little something extra to this. But everyone, while I'm going to be gluing on the ghost, I want to give you some more ideas. This is such a great idea to do with your clocks. And you could do this with pumpkins if you didn't like the Halloween theme. You could do this with leaves. There is just so many different ideas to do to add just kind of that fall vibe in your home by just adding some really neat little wood pieces that you've painted to an inexpensive clock. And I may even do one of these with some leaves and I'll probably pop that in another video. But everyone, I just took these ghosts, I think I used like maybe 12 of them, and you could line these up any direction that you wanted, but I thought this turned out so fun. And what I wanted to do is add some black cardstock to the back of the ghost, and that way their eyes and their mouth would really pop out and it would give more of an effect of like that ghostly effect. But everyone, this could not have been simpler, and I thought it was just a way to add just that little bit of whimsical uh, Halloween to your home, and the perfect little clock to have, especially through the fall and the Halloween season. But like I said, imagine doing this with all kinds of different types of wood pieces. But everyone, here it is displayed in my little vignette area, and I think it could not be cuter. Let me know if you like this one in the comments below. And here's a little clip where I actually hung it up on the wall for you. And I added a little bit more paint to the ghost to give them some texture. But there we go. Now for our next one, we are going to be making one of the ghosts. That is actually a little light bulb just sitting in a vase. And I'm gonna take and mix up just some inexpensive glue. And I always just add a little bit of water to my glue. I never really measure. I think the measurements are really like two to one. You wanna have more glue than water. But I just get mine to a consistency that I feel I can work with. And then I'm going to be using some of the, I think it's like a cheesecloth kind of texture. And it's more the creepy cloth, but I got it at Walmart, and it seems a little thicker uh, than the one that you can find at Dollar Tree. So you may want to pick some up there. And you could also use cheesecloth. But I just dip it in there, and I wring it out really well, and I put a saran wrap over top of my little light bulb, and that's going to help... Um, for it to pull loose from the light bulb. And I actually just leave that saran wrap attached in there once it dries. And I did find out that you can actually take a hair dryer to this if you're in a hurry like I was 
and want to dry it a little quicker. If not, let it dry overnight. But I just take a couple pieces of my creepy cloth and I really wanted this one to be kind of full at the bottom. So I was just kind of stretching out my little ghost body the way that I wanted it to be. And while that is drying, we are gonna take one of these, I don't know if it's like a rock or a log. I picked it up at Goodwill and it's for fish tanks. And I found a couple of these and they have worked really well for some Halloween decor. And I just took some of my black paint and I just painted this really well, covered it with probably a couple of coats trying to get in all those little crevices. And I picked these mini pumpkins up at Hobby Lobby. And I just wanted to add that little pop of orange on here because I thought that would be pretty with the um, the black and the white. But I just put three little pumpkins on my, I'm going to call it a little log. And um, then I took some moss that I had picked up, you'll see here in a moment, from Michael's actually. If you have a Michael's close to everyone, they are having a wonderful sale right now. I actually picked up this little tree at Michael's, marked down 50% off, but keep in mind, you can just as easily go out and get a branch and paint it black. And you see, I got my little ghost dried there, and I added just some little eyes that I had from Little Wood Pieces. And I decided to light my ghost up, and I just added these fairy lights that uh, I actually got these from Timu, but you can get them at Amazon also. But everyone, here's that moss that I added to the top of here, and I think these are some really pretty colors. And like I said, I did find that at Michael's. And I really like that contrast, but everyone, here it is displayed. And I think this little ghost vignette scene turned out absolutely adorable. You'll have to let me know what you think of this one. Now for our next design, everyone, I found these corbels at Goodwill. And when I flipped it upside down, I saw the coolest design. So I'm going to be taking my black paint and I'm going to paint all the background parts of it. And if you haven't guessed yet, we are going to be painting the curled part to look like a ghost. And this made such a unique piece of artwork when I got it done. And it was so simple to do. And after the season of Halloween and fall, I could just paint this a different color. But everyone, this was such a fun idea. And look how simple that was. I popped that black paint on there, painted the little ghost body white, and I am going to add just a cute little face to look like this little ghost is just flying through the air and this made just a fun little decor piece. I decided to use some of that rub and buff in the antique gold and I really wanted to make him look like he was smiling and that was pretty much all I had to do to this. I thought about painting two of these but I just did the one for you but you could actually use these for bookends and it would make such a cute little piece to put up in a library or just in your entryway but look at him smiling what an adorable cute little ghost and here he is setting up in the little vignette area and i think he's absolutely adorable Now for our next DIY, I'm going to be taking three of these wood blocks that I found at the thrift store. And I didn't have my wood glue, so I just used some tacky glue and glued these together, which it held just fine. I'm going to be painting these black. And these covered really well because they're raw wood. You can usually just get by with that one coat of black paint. But while that is drying, I'm gonna take some pears that I found at Goodwill. I'm gonna cut the bottom off of these so they can stand up. And everyone, if you haven't made ghosts out of pears, you gotta give that a try. <laughs> these made the cutest little ghosts. And also keep in mind in the spring, you can use these to make the cutest little chicks. These actually look like little baby chicks, but they're ghosts today, everyone, so that's what they're going to be. But anyway, I glued these on to these wood blocks and 
put a couple of coats of white. I did have to do that to get these to cover really well. And But everyone, they had the perfect shape for the little ghost. I decided to add some of my moss that I had picked up at Dollar Tree and just stuff that around the bottom. I was going to give this one a little bit of a primitive look. And then I had some of my primitive fabric that I'm going to put around here. And then I just decided to just make some cute little faces on here because I thought these were so fun and so creative. And I actually end up popping a little moss on top of their head just for fun. But everyone, if you have some of the pears laying around, I know they uh, seem to have lots of the fruit in Goodwill. And I just was trying to find something fun to do with that. So this is an idea and I hope this one gives you some inspiration. But what I'm going to do after we get our little faces painted on is I'm just going to take that little primitive uh, fabric and tie around the bottom. And then we're going to add the word boo with a little tag and that will pretty much finish this one up. But while you're watching me finish this one, I just wanna thank everyone that has been subscribing to my channel. The channel has grown quite a bit just from my last video and I am so happy and I welcome each and every one of you. And thank you to all of my subscribers that have been with me a while. I am so close to 10,000 and I have a giveaway when I reach 10,000 that I will talk about in the next video. And I am so excited. I found a really unique item and I want to share it with you. So I hope you can help me to reach my 10,000. I'm so excited to be growing on YouTube and I'm so excited to be sharing all of my creative ideas with you. Now let's finish this one up with the little boo sign and everyone here it is setting in my little bin yet. And I think these three little ghosts could not be cuter. Okay everyone, for this DIY, I took one of these little galvanized risers, and I think this is actually for a candle, but everyone, what I create with this, I absolutely love it. I'm putting it in my kitchen. Now, I painted it black, and then I had this lid that come off of this really unique jar that I had, and what I'm going to do is make kind of like a light up candle out of this with the little ghost in there. But everyone, I accidentally created a hologram and you'll see that at the end and it looks absolutely so neat when the lights are out and I'll be able to show you that. But I had that little ghost that I had picked up at Goodwill and you're supposed to put a tea lit candle in it, but I actually use one of the little battery operated tea lids. But here is my little a glass jar that I'm going to be gluing right on top of there. And I did just use hot glue because I take a lot of my items apart. But you could use E6000 if you needed it to have a permanent hold. And you can see I filled that with some moss. And I'm going to pop my little painted ghost in there. And I just tried out my lid to see how this was going to look. And I'm going to go ahead and just glue on some more of that primitive ribbon because I was really liking the way that looked. And I just love how this turned out. I thought this made the cutest little candle. And you'll have to see what I've got planned for Christmas DIYs. I've got another idea that I'm going to do with this. But I just tied that little ribbon on there and decided to tie some of that primitive ribbon across the top. And then we're going to be adding our little candle in here. And I think that's pretty much all I do besides just put the candle in. But everyone, it was so simple. And hang on, I'm going to hold it up here where you can kind of see it. And now I'm just going to finish this off by tying on a little tag that says boo on it. But everyone, look how adorable this is. And if you take a peek, you can see the little hologram of the ghost in the background. And then I actually found out that it created that when I had it setting on my table. And here's a little clip of that. But I thought that little ghost in the background was adorable. Now for our next DIY, I'm going to take this 
wooden tissue box and I'm just gonna paint it black and we're gonna be covering up that cutout of an apple with another pear, but this is a wood pear. I must have got these at the same time and everybody was getting rid of their pear items. But we're just gonna go ahead and take this little wooden pear and cover it with a couple coats of white paint. And then I'm gonna draw on just a simple little face and we're actually going to use uh, some letters and just stencil the word booger on here. And I thought this one was too funny, everyone. I thought this made just a fun and simple little design to put in your bathroom or in a kid's room. And just to add a little comedy sometimes when, you know, your child's sick and might need a little tissue to blow their nose. But I thought this was just way too cute. But everyone, I hope you are enjoying these today. And I have one more coming up. I decided to try out that busted canvas. And that'll be the next one coming up. But definitely don't forget to leave a comment below. And I do hope that you can help me reach that 10,000 because I'm going to do a giveaway and I'm so excited about that. But everyone, here's our little booger tissue box, and it could not be cuter. Now, here is the busted frame that I decided to create. I'm sorry, it was the busted canvas. But I'm taking one of the black canvases from Dollar Tree, and I'm using my tacky glue on here, and I'm just smearing that all over. You can usually use that tacky glue if you're using the cardstock paper because it doesn't bubble up. But I had this one that kind of looked like brick, so I decided to use that. And I'm just going to rub everything down really well, and then we're just going to cut it out so it's the same shape as the canvas. But this was a fun one. I had been seeing everybody do these busted canvas artworks and so I thought I would give it a try so I hope you enjoy this one and I hope this one gives you some inspiration but everyone if you're not a big Halloween person I don't do a whole lot but I really like to do some fun ones um, there will be some other videos linked up in the uh, top corner here at the end and also I'll have some listed for you that I think you might enjoy if you just love the fall decor I'll have those listed below also that you can click on those links but after I got that cut out I decided to take my picture frame and it was just an old frame that I popped another canvas in and you can see I'm actually doing the back part of it and that's going to be because we're going to cut the front to fold this over so you can see the what I'm trying to make look like a little spider web and so I decided to put that netting on there and then I just dabbed a little bit of the gray paint and a little bit of the brown on there just trying to give it kind of that grungy kind of look but once I kind of filled that in the way I liked it I decided that I would flip it over and I wanted to pull in like an orange color. So I'm just gonna touch up my frame a little bit with that matte black and then we're gonna start applying, I think this is actually like a pumpkin orange, but you could use any orange color that you wanted to. But I just thought that would look really pretty having that color to pull the black and white back and curl it on. But I did want to add a little more to the frame, so I pulled out that rub and buff in that vintage gold color and just kind of rub that on there. I always like adding that over black. I think that looks pretty. Then I decided to take my leftover paint and just kind of dirty up the bricks a little bit to make them kind of look a little bit older. And now I'm going to take some more of that little uh, creepy cloth and just kind of stretch over the canvas area because I wanted that to be in the background of when I kind of bust open the canvas. I just wanted to hot glue everything on really well so that would stay down. Now once I get that done we are just going to take and we're going to start cutting our canvas to make it look like it busted open. And I did let that dry really well because it did have that netting on there, so keep that in mind. And then I will uh, cut some of them with a pair of scissors, and that made it a lot easier for me to do where I used that uh, creepy cloth netting type texture. 
But I was just cutting mine at different angles. Just, you can do this really any way that you like, everyone. Uh, you may have seen these done before. But I just thought I would try this one, and I really like how it turned out. I thought it was a fun idea that someone come up with and just wanted to give mine a try and see what I could do. Now I'm just going to keep folding these over and opening up the canvas because I wanted to have quite a few of them opened up because I've got several little items that I'm going to be putting in the background on top of that uh, creepy cloth on the brick there. And I really wanted to give this one kind of that really ghostly Halloween feel. So I'm going to have a little ghost in here and a little spider. And I think it just makes a really fun design. Now that we got everything rolled back and glued down, let's put some hot glue on here and glue our other canvas to the back of our picture frame. And we can start adding all of our little spooky Halloween accents on the inside. But everyone, look how cute this is. This really is like a fun little idea. So that's why I just wanted to give it a try. Now I found these little bats at Dollar Tree and they had that glitter on there. And I decided that I wanted to paint over mine to give them more of a little bit of a matte look to it. And I decided to add little bats um, on the corners. And then I'm gonna have a little spider that I picked up at Dollar Tree. Look like it's crawling out of the canvas and just gluing some little accents on here. And of course, since this is all about our little ghost today in this video, I'm gonna end up popping some of those fairy lights in there. And then I saved one of my little wooden ghosts that I'll be adding, added a little bit of moss just kind of around the spider, like he'd be crawling out of his little spider web thing there. And everyone, this is just too cute. And I did glue a little witch's broom just across the front, just for fun, and added a little pumpkin. But everyone, I get my lights in there, and this can be hanging up on the wall, or you can use it as a shelf sitter. And I thought this was just too cute. But everyone, I hope today's videos give you lots of inspiration. Thank you for stopping by. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you soon.